Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my weapons guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake. The idea of this video is twofold really, it's for anybody who wants to know who just where a specific weapon is. For that there's timestamps in the description and it's also for anybody who wants to get the weapons expert trophy. Uh, for that you're going to need to learn all weapon abilities, so you need to pick up every weapon in the game and then get 100% proficiency in it. As you can see there, hang on a second, Aerith here with the uh, guard stick. You need to use Arcane Ward, uh, that moves several times over and you get 100% proficiency. Like I said, you will need every weapon in the game. The rest of the video is going to be all of the weapon locations. Um, the video is going to be in chronological order, so we're going to go to, through each chapter in, the, in order. Uh, none of them are missable, so if you do miss one, you can just go back and use chapter select to go and get it afterwards. There are 24 weapons in the game, but I'm only going to show you the 20 that need to be found. Obviously, I'm not going to show you the starting weapons that you just saw. Uh, a lot of the weapons are to do with sort of story. Well, quite a few of the weapons uh, you will get during the story, like this one in Chapter 3. You have to do this uh, once you speak to the weapons merchant. Uh, so there will be some boss fights later on that you will see in this video. I've tried to reduce spoilers to a minimum, but you may see the end of some uh, minor bosses later on. Speaking of which, here is the Crab Warden. Uh, you're going to defeat this guy during Chapter 5. This is a story boss, so once you've defeated him, you will get the Metal Knuckles for Tifa. All clear. And stay down. Here's another story related one. I promise they're not all story related. Um, this is the end of chapter 6, this is the very end of chapter 6. You will get the light machine gun for Barrett. Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. In chapter 7 now, this one isn't story related, but it is very easy to spot and you will struggle to uh, to miss this one. Uh, when you are trying to get rid of some parts that are going to help you with the airbuster boss, you'll be in these sort of basement um, rooms, you'll be in B6 here. And this is the corridor, I believe it connects to B5. So you do have to come up here and then we're going to go, you would go right to carry on up to the next um, room. Instead, go straight ahead here for this purple chest and you're going to get the uh, Sonic Strikers for Tifa. If you see a purple chest, that is a weapon chest. Chapter 8 now, you will uh, come to the children's secret hideout as part of the story and there'll be a side mission here, the mysterious Moogle Merchant. Uh, you're going to speak to this this merchant, this, <laughs> this little kid here, quite a few times. Uh, but once you finish the uh, the side mission, you're able to purchase things from her. Uh, you need to purchase, uh, I think it's a ticket or something like that along those lines, to actually be able to purchase things from her. It just costs one Moogle uh, medal, and then you can purchase the silver staff for Aerith. Still in Chapter 8 here, uh, like the previous one, this is kind of... Uh, connected to a side mission this is kids on patrol uh, so you will once you have uh, Erith back with you uh, during this chapter you'll, oh. all the side missions will open up and you'll Did be able to start this soldier. one uh, finish this side mission it's a very simple one I have now a full have video on my channel it'll be links in the corner no, now um, just finish that side mission and you'll get the uh, nail bat for, for cloud it's definitely worth at least three gil. chapter nine now we're in uh, war market uh, you will come here as part of the story uh, the stairs you're about to see uh, is where Johnny will come running down as you first get to Wall Market. Uh, this is the, the main entrance just to the left there. Uh, head towards Caneo's place, this is the big palace up here. And then just hook a left here to the gun shop and you're able to purchase the hard edge for Cloud. Welcome, come on in, take a look, take a look! Still in chapter 9 here in uh, in Wall Market, there are two branching paths of side missions during this chapter. Uh, each will end with a certain mission. You will either get a dynamite body, which is what I'm doing here, or Shears counter attack. Uh, complete either of those two side missions. Here you are. Here I am at the end of a dynamite body, and you will get the uh, arcane scepter for Aerith. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps some. Chapter 10 now, we are in the sewers. Uh, you will come to this aqueduct as part of the story. Once you do that, drain the water out of it, which you do need to do with that switch there. Um, and then you're able to walk under this sort of uh, sluice gate here, and the weapon's going to be directly ahead of you in this crate. Uh, the story path is off to the right up those stairs, so you will have to come down into there. Chapter 11 
Chapter 11 now, we're in the uh, the haunted train yard. Uh, it can be a bit of a maze this place, but you can sort of see roughly where I am on the map. Uh, you will have to go through uh, multiple train cars to continue on, and you'll be moving them out of the way, etc. Uh, you'll go through this one, and then there'll be a, a ladder on the left-hand side, which I'm going to show you as we come out here. Uh, there we go. You're supposed to go up this ladder there. Uh, don't do that. Go through here, down here, and round and then you're going to find uh, the Mithriel Rod for Aerith. Bit of a more complicated this one, we're still in chapter 11 here. You need the steel uh, materia, which is going to allow you to steal things from enemies. Uh, if you don't have that, you get it from uh, Chadley after you finish the first nine bat battle intels. He'll have it for sale. So if you don't have it, you'll have to come back to this chapter and redo it just to get this. But essentially, with this boss, th boss, this is the final boss of chapter 11. This is Eligor. Uh, essentially, just use steel. It doesn't matter who you have using it. Uh, just keep trying over and over again, and eventually you will grab it from him. And there we go. You see Tifa just grabbed it then. This is chapter 13 now, we've moved on quite a bit. Uh, you will come to this area, you have to come to this area, this is sector 6, you'll come through a series of tunnels down there. You'll come out into this uh, this children's play area this type of place. Bad. Speak to this guy here, he's a weapons big merchant, man. speak to him it's and he'll here. have it uh, for sale, the Big Bertha that is. Near the end of chapter 13 now, you will have this boss fight with the failed experiment, that's what it's called. Um, basically, you just need to kill this guy, this is a story related one, you can't miss this. Uh, kill him and you'll get the Mithril Claws for Tifa. This is another purchasable one. We're in chapter 14 here. You'll recognize this place as the children's secret hideout again. Uh, speak to our friend Moogie here, and he's going to sell you the steel pincers for Barrett this time. Still in chapter 14, this is the big uh, kind of open world backtracking chapter. You can go to lots of places. We're in War Market again here. This is the exact same weapon merchant that we used beforehand. Speak to him again, and he's going to sell you the Mithril Saber for Cloud. Take a look. Take a look. Chapter 14 still, we're down in uh, Sector 6 here, uh, this is the big playground area. Um, you can come down and do this side mission at any time, basically you come down, speak to this guy here, he's going to give you the subterranean side bad. mission. Uh, finish this mission, well, you're going to get the wrecking hey, ball for Barrett, that's all hey. you need to do is finish the mission. It is quite a tough fight at the end of it, if you want a full uh, walkthrough for it, there'll be What's a video the in the top corner now. You too buddy, but hey, we're grounders, we don't break easy. I know it's not much. But take this, with my thanks. Moving along a bit now, we're in chapter 16, we're inside the Shinra building. Uh, you'll take control of Tifa and she'll fall from these sort of chandeliers here. And you'll be along with all these cars down here on the bottom floor. Um, basically, this is the route you will take to get back up anyway. But instead of hooking around to go up that ladder, instead carry on along these uh, light fittings here and get to the other side. You can see the purple chest there, that's the target. Uh, just go and open that for the purple pane for Tifa. Still in chapter 16 here, we've moved on quite a bit, you'll end up in this room here, this is the uh, the library. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why we are here, but just know that you'll speak to this guy here outside of this room. Uh, I believe his name was Hart, something like that. 
Uh, we were just in that if room for a meeting as part of the story. Please, uh, basically, speak to this guy. He's going to ask for so 10,000 gil for some information, Certainly and he will also that. give you the EKG cannon for Barrett. Uh, there is 3,000 gil in a, a crate around the other side of this circular area, so if you are a bit short, um, there's also always 3,000 there. If not, you're going to have to come back and redo this uh, this chapter. You should have more than enough money by now, though. for our executives. The individual you see, perhaps this will help preserve our relationship. Huh? An expression of my gratitude and appreciation. Huh. That's better. Right at the start of chapter 17 here, this is literally at the start where you uh, take control of Cloud. This is the first thing you'll do. If you stood in front of this mural, look left, you'll see the purple chest. This is the reinforced staff Are for okay? Aerith. Maybe you should rest a little longer. Still in chapter 17 here, you'll get split into two groups. It'll be Cloud and Barrett, and then Tifa and Aerith. Uh, when you're playing as these two, you will uh, there'll be a big fight in this room here that I'm looking at. Uh, there'll be a moth unit in there. It'll be the first of the, one of those that you fought. You'll come back into this central bit, and you have to walk up those stairs there. So you're going to see this purple chest off to the left-hand side. And this is the twin stinger for Cloud. Right, that's it for this one. That's all of them. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.